The cage was so dirty, it was quite a terrible sight. He made this slight moaning sound. I couldn't leave him there, I just had to take him with me. So these are the babies we have here. As much as we can um, to protect these species, we will do what we can do. They get out of there. These babies are taken from the wild to be sold as pets. His appetite was good, which was amazing. I was treating him for the first few days. Quite a messy drinker. In two or three months, he became just this bundle of energy. And I didn't want him to be alone, but we didn't have any other species like him. The deer came more or less at the same time. We didn't want them to be so imprinted on humans, so we actually placed them together. He started becoming so clingy. They were always together, always cuddling. That interaction was really amazing for them. It allowed them to grow and have that comfort. When his orange first started growing, his true curious nature started coming out. A few months later, we saw a video of another baby monkey in need. They were pulling a rope tight around his waist, so we rushed him in. He was so quiet, so calm. He too is one of a kind at our sanctuary. When I put him in with the others, he just blended in right away. He is the cheekiest monkey of all. And that's how the three of them became a very close bond. To see them happy, excited, energetic, after what they've experienced in the hands of people, that's really the best feeling whatsoever. The plan to get them back into wild spaces is still a process. Everybody had to go into different spaces. The monkeys stayed together though, they were inseparable. They basically became foster brothers. They are well taken care of right now at the sanctuary where we are building a good colony before we put them finally into the wild. <laughs>